Hello there everyone, The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 12 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. For today, uh, we're continuing on with our automation of our sieves and auto-processing of our all of our stuff, essentially. Um, also, trying to figure out why my chorus flower is not growing. I think because the vines were there, I think it may have been inhibiting it, so I broke the vines that were in its immediate area. So let's see if this grows, because I need more fruit salad. I'm running out of apples. I could chop these down and get more apples and stuff. That's a lot of work, you know? I wish I could make apples with sugar cane. Or I mean, I wish I could make fruit salad with sugar cane. It's, it's a fruit, right? Uh, I don't think so. Anyway, um, so we're continuing with our setup here of our automation of these guys. So what we need to do is get our crafter here, which I have all ready for us. And we need to get a drawer controller. Um, drawer controller is used to dump all the stuff into our drawers. So let's go ahead. We have no sticks. We're missing a lot of stuff, apparently. Get some sticks. Get a drawer controller. So it's going to require one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Bam. We also need a drawer, which I have a regular drawer bookmarked here. Uh, okay. Excuse me. There we go. Drawer. And we can make a drawer controller. Okay. So we have a drawer controller, and now we need drawers. How many drawers do we need? This is where I always end up, uh, I don't know, guessing, I guess, because it's there's, there's a lot of drawers that you could use, and I don't know exactly how many we're going to need. Um, we're going to need one for at least every one of these pieces. So that is, and we're going to want a compacting drawer for these. Um, so that's at least 11. Let's make 20 compacting drawers. Can I, can I make that work? I do have one. 20 compacting drawers. All right. We can. However, I don't want to do it myself. Um, I need some of this cobble, please. Go ahead and dump that in there. Start cooking. I don't want to do all the work myself, so we're going to slightly deviate here a little bit. And look, I just picked up a piece of osmium. I don't know what is going on with that. Slight deviation. We are going to get set up with auto crafting um, because I don't want to do all this work myself, to be honest with you. I don't want to sit here and have to craft everything 20 times. So we're going to set up a pattern grid. Cool? Cool. Um, so a regular grid is going to be all of this stuff. So we're going to need some glass. We're going to need a machine casing. Um, we're going to need a construction core. We're going to need a destruction core. And then we're going to need two improved processors. Uh, also, in between episodes, I went and stood in the lava a little bit more so that we got more processor bindings and some blood. Uh, yeah, it sounds lovely, doesn't it? put that there we're also going to want um, a diamond processor and I don't have any of those let's get one of those give me those and give me the diamond one when you're done quickly okay so we have a grid uh, we need glass oh, sand is an issue uh, no it's not I should have sand like here. Yes. Let's just grab, you know, let's grab a bunch of this. It's all going to get made anyway. And let's dump sand into the system. Sweet. So we got, oh, we have plenty of sand now. Uh, so let's grab a stack of that and get that cooking up. Really need to speed up these machines. Because they are just, they're just a little bit slow for my taste. can be fixed by doing that. Uh, so the glass can go in there. So there is our grid. And then we just need to turn that into a pattern grid. So we just need to make a pattern. And pattern grid. Sweet. All right. So we can break our crafting grid. We can put our pattern grid here. And then our crafting grid on top. Generally, this is the way I like to work. Crafting grid is center. So when you're looking straight ahead, you have access to your system. Patterns right below. All right. 
Um, in conjunction with that, we are also going to need a um, crafter. So let's just get a baseline crafter. Now this pack does have, yes, the iron crafters, so we do have access to higher tiered crafters as needed. Um, but for now, we don't need that. So a construction core and a, uh, not you, destruction core, eventually you, but not now. Um, and then we need two of these diamond ones. Let's go ahead and put those in here to cook up. Uh, we got glass. Stone can go away. That's you, and one more. Done. Put those away. I didn't realize crafters take two diamonds. That's a lot. So there's a machine casing, and bam, we have a crafter. And for now, we'll just go ahead and set the crafter up on top of this guy. Um, eventually, we're going to move this into a refined storage system. I need to... No. I should just pillar up instead of derping around. Just get myself up one more. Um, I don't like the way that's going to face, though. It's all about aesthetics. Bam. Okay, so there is a crafter. Doesn't hold very many recipes, but it'll get, a, get the job done for now. And we can upgrade it to a iron tier crafter eventually. Um, just keep in mind, the higher tier you get, the more power it's going to use. And if we look at our... Well, I don't have access to our controller right now, but if we were to look at our controller, we would see how much power is being used. Let's get rid of these. Um, we are using 15 RF a tick, which isn't bad at all. Um, less than I thought, actually. Those are dark oak stairs. I need dark oak slabs. Do I have... I do have dark oak slabs in here. Uh, whoops, should have done that. Is it less efficient to be able to, to do this? Probably. Do I care at the moment? Not really. Bam. Cool. All right, so crafting. First pattern that you always want to teach your pattern grid is how to make patterns. So we need a pattern to make a pattern. Does that make sense? Uh, why are you... Because I broke you again. JEI synchronized, please. So we need to make another pattern. And then we're going to use this pattern to teach the system how to make patterns. So in order to do so, you go to your pattern grid. And again, you want to set this to be, you know, JEI synchronized, whatever size that you want it to be set to. It has all the same buttons and everything. But if we want to make a pattern for a pattern, we access the pattern grid. And since this is using the latest version of JEI, you cannot, when you're in a pattern grid, you cannot click because it's trying to drag. You actually have to use the hotkeys in order to see the recipe for this. You have to hit R. Um, by default, it's R. You can change it, but by default, it's R. To open up the crafting recipe, then you can click the little plus button and create a pattern to make patterns. Pretty simple. Um, we're actually going to pop this back in here, though, because I do not want it to be set to exact mode. Because as you can see right now, it's using dark glass for some reason. I don't want it to be using dark glass. I want it to use regular glass. So what we're going to do is just take a piece of glass, click on each one of those to replace them for the block, and it should be good to go. And there's quartz and rich iron. We're ready. So there is our pattern to make patterns. So if we put this in here, and then we come to our crafting grid, and we say, okay, patterns. I need patterns. Well, we don't have any, but we can craft them. So if I click this craft, it's going to say, okay, how many do you want to craft there, Sir the Andrada? I'm your system. I'm ready to go for you. Um, so we're going to say, hey, Mr. Refined Storage, can you make 10 of these? It's going to be like, mm, unfortunately, I can't because I don't have any quartz enriched iron, bruh. You got to help me out. I need more quartz enriched iron. So what we do is say, okay, well, you have everything you need to make quartz enriched iron. How about you learn how to do that on your own? Because, you know, I'm not your mom. I'm not going to be taking care of you your whole life here. Learn to do stuff on your own, Crafting Grid, okay? I am going off on a crazy tangent here, and I don't understand what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so we're going to make a pattern, and we're going to take this, put it into our pattern grid, and we're going to say, okay, quartz and rich iron, this is how you do it. Learn to do it on your own. I don't want to be babysitting you all the time. Make quartz and rich iron as you need it. So then if I go back here and I say patterns and I wanted to request, say, 64, it'll tell me 
bam, we're missing quartz and redstone and stuff. But it can make the iron now. It's going to craft 184 of them. I don't need 64 at the moment. Let's, let's just stick with the 10. We're missing two quartz. We should have nether quartz in here that we can pump in and be good to go. Once all this back stuff, this back stuff clears off, the interface eh, probably still won't be able to keep up. We need to get speed upgrades into that bad boy. Really, we need to get stack upgrades into it um, so it can do its thing. But let's get 10 patterns, and it should be fairly quick to craft those. Um, as you go up in tiers with your crafters as well, you will start being able to, it'll do the auto crafting. Okay, so let's continue. Um, put these away and we have our pattern. So now we need to teach the system how to make drawers because I don't want to do it. It's too much work for me. Um, so a drawer is this, but it's going to use a regular chest. Okay, so we have that taught. We need to teach it how do you make a chest? Well, you make a chest with logs. What kind of logs do we have in the system right now? We have oak, we have, it'll use any logs and it'll make the chests. So that's okay, cool. Um, and it'll make four at a time and that's perfectly fine. We'll end up with extra chests, but that's okay. They'll be used eventually. So that is how to make a one by one drawer. Now, a compacting drawer is a little bit different of a process. We need to teach the system to use those drawers, um, a piece of iron and pistons to make a compacting drawer. So we're gonna do that. System doesn't know how to make pistons though, so we need to teach the system how to do that. And we will probably need to teach the system how to make planks. Um, give me a normal recipe for planks. Yeah, why are you doing like stripped oak wood specifically? Um, if I put a piece of oak here, make planks. Okay, so you can hold shift and it will show you which items are in your patterns, but if you just shift click, we should be good to go. So if I come here and I say, I want a compacting drawer. I want one of these. Ah, I'm missing eight cobblestone. Easily solvable. If I come over here, I really should have one of these dumping into like a chest or something so I can access cobblestone as needed. I mean, okay, I, I do have access to cobblestone. I got all of that cobblestone sitting in that chest there that I would just need to break down. I don't want to do that. We'll just dump all that in there as is and just leave it for the most part. Um, but yeah, okay, so say I want to make a compacting drawer, start it, craft it, it's going to do the thing, and bam, we have another compacting drawer. So now let's say I want to make 18 compacting drawers because that's I want. I said I wanted to get 20 possible we're just missing a little bit of stone did i finish stone yes i did let's dump that in there and then try that again so i wanted 18 18 more ah uh, we're missing five stone let's grab another stack of cobble and get it cooked up and let's uh, give it a little bit of a boost. You guys are good to go, right? Yeah, you're filling back up perfectly fine. Okay. Um, hmm, I was thinking maybe I should have a chest so that it could do its thing, but it's a lot of work. It's really not, but it's a lot of work. Okay, let's grab the stone, put that in there, and then finally, if we say compacting drawers, we want... 18 of those, bam, it's able to do all of the crafts for us. And you're gonna see, we're gonna start getting our compacting drawers. So while it's doing that, let's work on the other stuff. Um, we need a key. So let's have it make a drawer for our key. Uh, probably a bad time to have done that though, because it probably used that drawer to make one of these drawers. So let's, uh, let's try that again. There we go, we have an extra one and a drawer key. Bam. And then we're going to want, let's just say drawers. Let's just, let's just go for 20 regular drawers as well. Uh, we're just mixing some oak wood. You should be able, you should be able to use the birch too. Hmm.
Oh, that's because it's trying to make oak drawers. If I were to, if I would have taught the system to make dark oak drawers, it would be a little bit better. Um, all right, let's just chop down the trees. Uh, where are you at? Give me all your wood. And we can just replant. It's not that big a deal. Uh, you were like somewhere there. Oh, look, you already grew. You grew and there, bam. Trees grown. We got more, a little bit more logs, a couple more apples, not really much, but um, now if we go to our drawers and we say, okay, I want 20 of these, we should be good to go. So and that is everything we're gonna need to get this started. So we have our compacting drawers, we have our drawer controller, and then we have our drawers, regular drawers for, honestly, I don't know exactly what we're gonna need these for at the moment, but we will at some point. So we're gonna take them. Um, and we need to pop downstairs. I have our crafter, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and get a exporter really quick. Uh, so that's you. I need more of these guys. Ran out of silicon. Do I have any more quartz? Where was that? Another quartz dust. Can this be smelted back into quartz? No. Uh, it has to be put into the energi energizing chamber, or enrichment chamber. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate. Okay, well. That's okay. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, we were looking for an exporter, so we need this. And this. Oh, I used all my silicon. Quartz. Uh, we're also going to want speed upgrades. How about a stack upgrade, which is going to require speed upgrades. How many more slots do I have? Two. Speed upgrade is you, and then stack upgrade is you. So each stack upgrade is going to require four speed upgrades. It's going to require some sugar, some iron, and upgrade. It's going to require more of these. Doable. Easily doable. Let's get some of these. Do those first, please. Uh, so I need at least that one to get the exporter. So that'll export into our crafter, and then we'll just use a regular pipe to get to the drawer controller. That's not that big of a deal. Um, I do want to get these upgrades. So first off, I need to go over here, over here, and do the fun thing, which is... <laughs> I do love breaking sugar cane. Can I? Can I like? I need to break that one so that it can continue growing. Bam! That should grow. Um, so if we take all of that sugar cane and we say we need some sugar, it should be one to one. Yes. I don't know how much we're going to need, so let's just boop that much. To get speed upgrades, we're going to need these upgrades, um, which are going to require a bunch more compressed iron or quartz enriched iron. Um, oh, that was weird. Uh, so we were doing speed upgrades. I need at least one stack upgrade for this guy. So let's go ahead and quickly, we're going to teach this system how to make speed upgrades which is you, and then we'll take both of those out, and we're probably going to upgrade this to an iron crafter, to be honest, um, but give me speed upgrades. So I want four of those. Okay. Can we make another four? No. Can we make this, though? Yes, so there's a stack upgrade. 
Um, let's get another one of these and that can go in there. Give me those. Give me that. And that. Okay. You're going to go there. Give me another four speed upgrades. Missing two. Didn't I just make? Where did it go? Where did this Inferium Essence come from? I heard something drop into the world. Did you all hear that? I heard it drop into the world. Something is going on over there, and I don't know why. This is why we're going to put it into a compact machine so we don't got to deal with it. Now we're going to be short one sugar. No, now we're short two sugar. Brett, you're driving me nuts. Okay, so two stack upgrades. Um, so that will significantly help this interface out. Can I access this from here? Uh, it doesn't really matter. We need to go downstairs anyway. So let's go down here. Wow, it is significantly dark down here. Good thing these are all slabs. Mobs can't spawn. We would have a massive mob farm down here. And a massive problem, essentially. Uh, I forgot to get my cables. Cables should be enough. Okay, so what we want to do is set up our drawer controller and we're going to kind of like, you know, center it here. So our drawer controller can go here. Yeah, does that look accurate? Um, and then we'll set up our crafter. It's not going to look the greatest, but we'll set our crafter up here with an item pipe connecting the two. Set to extract. Probably going to need to get a speed upgrade on this item pipe. But that's uh, future. So we got that going. So now we just need to get some cables run down here. We're going to have a external storage, which I did not get set up. But that's okay. We're going to have an exporter here. Um, and actually... I only grabbed one of those item pipes, didn't I? Um, hmm. I guess we could have... I don't like having... I don't want the uh, external storage to sit on the front or on the top of this thing because then I can't put a drawer on top of it. And it just isn't aesthetically pleasing. Oh, well. That's where we're at right now. Um, switch over to cobblestone, please. And we just need to go straight down, but I need to access this guy and give him the stack upgrade. So now he's able to import a whole stack of these at a time. Previously, he was only doing one item at a time, so that's why it was going so slow. So it should significantly help speed this thing up. Um, it's still going to be a little slow. We're eventually going to want to get those speed upgrades in there, but we are a little bit resource capped to be able to do that at the moment, so... Bam. Okay, so you are going to have your exporter. So that is the drawer controller. So let's get our drawers. So we're going to have compacting drawers over here. Bam. 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 And bam. Okay. And then we'll put the regular drawers over here. Four, five. Probably shouldn't have done that, so because I'm, I'm gonna take damage. Okay, so those are all of our drawers. Now we take our key and we say, "Hey, lock all the drawers for me, so nothing can go into here." 
The only things that'll go into here are items that I manually put into them, which is exactly what I want to have happen. Um, so let's go ahead and fix those that got all funky in a drawer key. Okay, uh, one more time, bam. So then we need to set up this exporter to export our pieces, uh, which actually we need an advanced exporter. Do we have an advanced exporter in this pack? Ooh, we don't. We only have a regular exporter. All right, we're gonna have to make another exporter because this can only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we need 11 things to come out of here. So we have to have set up another exporter to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and get our external storage and our exporter started. Okay, so let's get a external storage, which is gonna require um, a couple of things. Just a destruction core. Construction core and then some chests. Now here's the cool thing with uh, refined storage, and I love this addition. If we go to our external storage here, we're gonna see. Okay, we don't have any chests, right? However, we do have an auto craft available for chests, and you can tell because it lights up blue. Things that are missing would light up red. Things that are auto craftable are lit up blue. It also highlights this guy. Um, golden yellowish in color. So if we hold control click as it's saying to request auto crafting and click on it, hold control click on it, it's gonna say, okay, make some, all the stuff that we need. Um, bam, easy as that. So then if we go back to our external storage and I say I need this, um, it's gonna say we need an improved processor because I couldn't see that we needed that. But that's okay, so we can just pop over here and while that's cooking, we can take a nap Need to figure out a food solution at some point, but I mean, honestly, it's because I sprint literally everywhere uh, that we uh, run out of food, but hey, live life in the fast lane, you know? So there's an external storage, so we have that going for us, and then what else did we need? Um, we needed another exporter, right? Yes, so we're gonna need another improved processor. and a construction core, which is gonna require some more basic processors. Uh, so that's you. Let's just make five of those. I just need one for now, so as soon as that one's done, we're gonna to need to get speed and upgrades and all that stuff in these, but for now, uh, this, will, this will work out. So another exporter. So we have a construction core, and should we get to go? Bam. So if we pop back downstairs, Really, maybe should light this area up a little bit. Um, so for this, we are gonna have to, <laughs> we gotta get to the back of this. Um, let me through for now. So for this, we need to set this exporter up to be here with another cable. Uh, so we can run the cable actually right here. Bam, so we don't need it there. And eventually we'll probably end up with another one on the other side so we can, I don't know, maybe do some more stuff. Um, but for now, this is okay. So what we want to do is, oh, and actually we don't want... Uh, we don't want this. We want this imported. So this honestly didn't even need to be down here. Well, that's okay. Um, yeah, this didn't even need to be down here because we want to set up importing so that we can process and double all of our ingots and have all the ingots show up in the chest. Well, that's okay. Let's get this external storage set up here and we're gonna set this. Uh, so it's gonna be on item mode. We're gonna change the priority on this though and we're gonna set this to a priority of 10. So what that means is that items will go into this external storage before they go into our disk drive upstairs, which is what we want. So what we're gonna do is set all of this up um, to have all the items that we need in here. So for example, if we go upstairs and we say, um, okay, redstone, right? Um, so if I go redstone, we want redstone to go into this. If we take our redstone and we pop it down here, and we put this into a compacting drawer, it will automatically put all of the redstone into this compacting drawer. 
Um, I forgot to lock these drawers, which is unfortunate when I replace them. And what I don't want is, uh, so I need to do that. No, ah, give me it. Unlock, nope. Um, let's just break this. If you accidentally forget to lock your drawers, you're gonna run into this problem where it's gonna be putting random stuff into your drawers, which you don't want. So it's as easy as just locking them again. Okay, cool. Um, but blaze powder is one of the things that we're gonna put in here. So if we put blaze powder here, it'll start dumping all of our blaze powder in here. Um, and we put inferior essence. Mm, can this be blocked? It can, so we'll put it in there, that's fine. Um, and then we can, yeah, yeah, we're good to go. That goes there. Um, so we're gonna set an importer up on this guy so that he can be imported back into the system. But that's gonna be next episode because this episode's done. So in between episodes here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the items that we want to have in these drawers, um, like our ingots and stuff, and we're gonna put them into the drawers. But if we go down here and we say, okay, redstone, right? If I take our redstone and I take all of our redstone out of here, we have no redstone. If I go down here and I put the redstone into this guy, um, and conveniently you can just double click, uh, double right click, and it will put all of the stuff in here. We can now see that we have 240 redstone dust, a block, and then we also have some compressed redstone because, you know, X compress them is in here. So it's gonna compress or be available compressed. But if we come back in here now, we'll see Redstone dust, 240 of them. Super convenient. So we're gonna move all the stuff that we have downstairs, like the sand, the inferior messes and stuff. Um, I will do all of that in between episodes here. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll continue working with our gold pieces or all these pieces and get the processing of those set up so that we can have it automatically pulverize and then smelt so we can double it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one.